guys, it's Dana. Just here, about ready to set up my worm in. Um, I used this worm flow through system for about a year, and then in the fall, I just dumped it into my horizontal migration system because it got a little bit dry. And what I have to do in my environment here in Northern California in the valley is be a little bit more attentive to keeping it moist. The worms were fine and everything, but it just wasn't working quite well. So I want to uh, set it up again, keep it a little bit more moist, and, and keep trying. The thing about this system that's awesome is you just put things in the top, and then, you know, about six months from now, I'll be able to harvest from the bottom. And you just keep putting it in, and it's just flowing through. And I've done it, it works great. You can put a lot of material in this bag. And the neat thing is, is it's also breathable. So it's got a, a mesh zipper that keeps the bugs out. And it also keeps uh, the moisture level pretty good most of the year. In the summer, I just have to water it a little bit more than I did. So anyway, um, so we're gonna set it up. I'm gonna use some paper scraps that I shredded with my micro shredder. I've got some veggie scraps. And I'm going to take some worms from my other worm bins and also give you a tour and show you how those are doing too. Alright? So let's bring you in and show you what's going on. Alright, so here's a close up of the bin. And if you can see, it's about two hand widths across. So it's about 12 by 12 and it's just supported by this PVC frame and I put a bucket on the bottom there and the worm tea just kind of seeps in uh, through the bottom. So to start it you put a piece of cardboard in kind of to block that that hole down there. And if you have the money, it was about a hundred bucks, but if you can actually get a micro shredder, it is awesome because this stuff the worms are going to love. I'm going to mix it with some of my cocoa core potting soil mix so it's definitely not as dry as this, but this is an awesome bedding for the worms. And a great use of paper. So what I'm going to do right now is take a little bit of cocoa core and potting soil mix and mix it with the paper to kind of get the right consistency for the starter worms. I'm going to give it a little moisture too. So after this initial bedding, I'm probably just going to add the paper and the food scraps. The initial potting soil and cocoa core is just to kind of start them off and they'll break it down even further. But I want to provide a really good solid base for the moisture. So as you can see, it's got a good base right now, and now I just have to 
get a couple clumps of worms from my other bins and put some veggie scraps in there and let them get to work. Okay, including the worm in, I have five different types of worm composters. This is my very first one. It's a cedar one. It's a vertical migration, so you just keep feeding in these trays and the worms keep moving up and then you take the finished tray and you harvest it. I actually have a video on harvesting that and it's it does take some time. So when people actually want to get involved with vermicomposting, I really feel like they should really think about it because worms are the same as any other kind of pet. It takes a lot of work. And the other thing is, is that I've I've really do like using the pre-made versus the plastic bins because I think the plastic bins it's really hard to control the moisture after a while and it's really hard to harvest it after a while. I mean there is a reason why people design these things and because they work really well. Here is a really good colony of worms and I think I'm going to say Let's take a little trip over to the Worm Inn. They're just all over the place. Yeah, I'm going to grab this group right here. They are happy and healthy. And I've only bought worms. I actually bought them from Uncle Jim's one time because if you take good care of them, they'll just keep making babies. The next worm bin I have is the worm cycler. It's a vertical migration. The worms travel up the trays. And this is finished, pretty much finished. It's awesome. It's so beautiful. I just have it on the top. It was on the bottom, but there's a few worms that if you put it on the top and you just kind of move it around a little bit. Of course, they don't like the light, so they're going to go down to the tray underneath. The tray underneath has a lot of good scraps in it. I'm just trying to find a good group of them to come over to the worm in. They're kind of all spread out here. Sorry guys, don't mean to mess with you that much. Let's see. Oh, this is a good group. Would you guys come over? And the last Burma composter is the can of worms. And this one also is vertical migration. I just harvested from that too. Oh my goodness, they are going crazy. All right, let me get you guys a handful of you and into the worm in you go. I'm going to feed them. This system is great. I 
Actually, I have no complaints about any of the systems. You just have to kind of know their strengths and weaknesses. The plastic, you tend to get a lot more worm tea from. And the cedar one dries out a little bit more, but actually is the best at regulating moisture. And the worm in, you definitely have to just add more water to. My outside horizontal migration system is just kind of a no-brainer. You just keep putting stuff in there and it keeps going. Now we've got a great colony of worms in here from three different bins and they've got a really good stable bedding that's going to maintain the moisture level I think a little better. And now it's time to add some food in there, put some cardboard on top to keep the moisture in, and then just check them every week. All right, so let's feed them. I think what I'm going to do is just kind of put them on one side and the food on the other. Kind of went bad. And Worm's all-time favorite, pineapple. They eat that stuff up. All right. Let's give it a little bit of a cover. Let's put the worms to bed. Sorry for the shaky camera. I'm just having to do this with one hand. All right, and then all right, top is all zipped up. And there it is. The worm in. We'll check on it in a couple weeks and see how it's going. I'll give you guys an update. And if you're interested in getting the worm in, I'll put a link below in the comments. All right, have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Happy worm farming. Take it easy. Bye. Here's the verma composting row. <laughs> All four bins nicely tucked away in the garage making black gold for me in my garden.